Good morning, it's meteorologist Justin Rose back in the NCSU Weather Center. You want to grab a winter jacket as you head out the door tomorrow because our top headline is cold weather. Yes, we saw it today and we will continue throughout the rest of the week and into the beginning of next week. And we also have a slight chance of snow showers for the day Friday into Saturday. More details to come on that later in the week as the details right now are quite blurry. But as we head out beyond that, to start our weekend, we have even colder conditions. And on Sunday, we can see the coldest temperatures we've seen yet this winter. As you head out the door this morning, you want to grab a winter jacket, like I was saying, because temperatures are starting out only in the upper 20s, around 28. And then as you head out through the day, temperatures are not going to warm up much. Temperatures topping out around 3 p.m. at only 41. So it's going to be cold as you begin class as well as you leave class. And the reason behind that is we have a big Arctic high that's moving in, bringing cold Canadian air even from the poles. And combine that with the low pressure system that's located over the northeast, we see a strong northwesterly wind flowing and bringing that cold air from Canada into the, the regions of the southeast and even the mid-Atlantic. For today, we see temperatures, like I said, not climbing much, only to 41. But as we head into the afternoon hours, we see an upper level disturbance move through. And with that, we can see areas of clouds and maybe a light sprinkle of flurry like we saw for the day Tuesday. And like I said, it's going to be quite cold with winds out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour. It's going to make it seem a lot colder than 41 outside. Temperature, the wind chills will be in the lower 30s to even the upper 20s at times. As we head into the night, temperatures drop as skies clear behind that upper level disturbance and temperatures will really bottom out around 20 degrees. The winds will lighten up, so wind chill won't be much of a factor, but however, you don't need a wind chill when it's that cold outside. As we head into the day tomorrow, we see that pressure gradient across central North Carolina has let up, let up. So like I said, with that, we'll see lighter winds for the day Thursday, just like we saw overnight tonight. We see that high pressure system still located over the Midwest. And with that, we'll see, still see a northwesterly wind that will funnel in that cold air from Canada for the day on Thursday. For Thursday, we see temperatures again, still way colder than this time of year, high of only 39. But we do see a lighter winds with winds just westerly 5 to 10 miles an hour. As we look at the week ahead, we see temperatures starting out 41 on Wednesday before dropping to 39. And then we see that slight chance of snow as we head into Friday. Only 20% right now, but that might incre may increase as we head closer to the time frame. And then behind that, temperatures really bottom out with a high of only 36 on Saturday before dropping Saturday night into Sunday, maybe into the single digits around the area. Right now we have a forecast for 11, the temperatures only climbing to around 30 for the day Sunday. 